Oh yeah. Oh yeah. People. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic mukbang just for you. I am in isolation at home, just like a lot of you guys. Uh, we are not under lockdown or quarantine. Uh, if you're feeling sick or whatever, uh, you're not supposed to go out at all. But uh, if you're feeling fine, you can go for walks as long as you don't get, be around other people. Uh, so today I thought I'd just sit here, eat a whole pizza, and this is a delicio. A lot of you guys wanted me to do frozen pizzas. So this is delicio. And uh, this is the Canadian one. It is pepperoni, bacon, and mushrooms. My favorite pizza of all time. Uh, anchovies on there would just definitely uh, knock it up a notch. The instructions are on the back. I had to set the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, if you want a crispy crust, which is what I wanted, you just put it on that metal rack without uh, a tray right underneath it. Uh, we had a, a drip tray down below just in case stuff started falling off on into the oven. And so I, I put it on for 27 minutes and then you just let it sit for about seven minutes. Uh, sorry, about five minutes. Uh, and then you can start eating and I think I've stalled long enough. All right, guys, we're going in for the extreme close up of this Canadian pizza. Check out all those greasy pepperonis, all those beautiful little mushrooms. I'm not sure what kind of mushrooms those are. I don't think I've ever seen that small of a mushroom. Uh, I've been looking for bits of bacon. I think there's one right there. I don't see too many other pieces of bacon. Maybe that's bacon underneath. It's possible and that crust is perfect. I'm hungry, let's eat it. All right, got my pizza wheel. Let's just chop that into there. Let's see if it's crusty. Oh yeah, and Sam loves pizza and he's just hanging out by my feet right now. Right Sam? I'll try and give you a bit of crust, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna cut it into four. Got my napkin, put that on my lap. All right, here we go. So I'm hoping everybody's doing well out there in the world. If you can get your hands on some frozen pizzas, let me know what's your favorite frozen pizza. I bought three. And this is the one I wanted to do first. I have like a chicken, a spicy chicken one. And uh, and there's another one that's like, I guess, a, I don't know, a gourmet one. Check out the thickness of that slice. Mmm. I can just, the steam is just coming off of it. I don't want to burn myself. I'm hoping I put it in there for long enough. It looks like it's perfectly done. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. People, mmm. It does. It did say something like twenty-six to twenty-nine minutes. No, sorry, twenty-six to twenty-eight minutes for the crispy crust. But it also has like other instructions on there saying, you know, make sure that it is golden brown. Make sure that the internal temperature is over a hundred and something degrees Celsius or something, because they don't want you to get sick just in case but this is tasting great the crust is nice let's try that this pizza is uh five dollars and 87 cents at no frills plus the canadian taxes or at least ontario taxes just to give you an idea how much it cost. Sam knocked down my wall. Had to put it back up. Mm. Crazy hot. If you're all alone at home on a Friday night, everybody's gone out for whatever reason, you're staying in, maybe because of quarantine. For five bucks or six bucks, it's really good pizza, and you definitely could probably eat all of that in one sitting. Perfect golden brown. I love when the cheese gets nice and dark like that and crispy. Oh.
the flavor of the crust kind of has like a bit of a whole wheat flavor to it. The mozzarella they use is great. And I love the, uh, the saltiness of the uh, pepperoni. I think when it comes to uh, frozen pizzas, Chris, you gotta go crispy. But let me know in the comments below, crispy or soft crust frozen pizzas at home. When you get pizzas delivered to you, I, I never, that's never crunchy. But again, frozen pizza, I think is a must to have crunchy. It says here each quarter is uh, 480 calories. So this whole thing is uh, 1900, <laughs> 1920 calories. I just came from a just over an hour bike ride. Burned about 800 calories. I won't eat anything else. I wish the mushrooms were bigger. I've never seen such small mushrooms before. Cheers everybody, hope you're doing well. I'll give you a little rundown of what's going on in my area. Oh. Oh. Crazy hot. So they just put up signs recently at all the parks. They've roped off playgrounds so the kids don't use the playgrounds. They've put signs at most of the park uh, parks in the area saying they're off limits. We didn't have a parking lot that was put there because we got a lot of ice fishermen in the winter time. And they basically roped off the whole parking lot because they just don't want people to come there, park, and tailgate or whatever. I'm definitely going to have to go for another bike ride tomorrow. Better not be raining. So like I said, leave comments in the comment section below as to what your favorite frozen pizza is and how much they are in your area. I know that the United States probably has some pretty half decent, really cheap pizzas. I would normally only eat half of this, but just for you, I'm gonna eat all of it. I'm definitely gonna be full. It's nice when, it, when you hold a crispy pizza like that, it pretty much stays level instead of just swinging down. Swing low, sweet cherry of it. Mmm. Yeah, that pepperoni dynamite. I think they put enough on there too. They weren't too stingy on the pepperoni. Thanks, Delicio. Sometimes when you get these uh, frozen pizzas, the box, box sometimes gets dropped and then a lot of the toppings will like slide over to one side or detach themselves from being frozen stuck to the pizza. So you had to just kind of arrange it. I think this one was fine. Last bite of this piece. Okay, two bites. I just noticed uh, Nestle uh, makes this. I had no idea that they made pizzas. And now I do. Last piece. And it still tastes great. Mm. Sometimes if you eat too much of something, it starts to get boring on the taste buds. So I've been told. And I've experienced. 
check out fluffy that dough is. Mmm. It is the rising crust that, you know. Golden beauty right there. Mm-hmm. Still nice and crunchy. The crunch just adds to the experience. I love it. Bacon. Mm. I can do that one bite. Mmm. This is great, man. All right, guys, I am all done that mukbang, that frozen pizza mukbang. And again, this was delicio. This is the Canadian style with uh, pepperoni, mushrooms, and bacon. Uh, I suggest you guys give it a shot. Again, because it's a mukbang, I don't usually rate it. But I like to tell you guys that uh, I would definitely buy that again. Uh, if I knew that I was going to be somewhere where I couldn't get delivery, uh, this is definitely an alternative to uh, freshly baked pizza from a pizzeria delivered straight to your house or a pickup, whatever. Uh, this doesn't really compare to that, but it is good. And for the price, uh, it is definitely something you got to try yourself. All right, guys, once again, I hope you guys are doing well during these tough times uh, on our planet. And um, I wish you well and all the best, and we'll see you in the next video. If you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you want to see some more mukbangs, check out this playlist, and I'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.